Hey guys, this is the second part of, of chapter 6, section 3. And what I want to do now is I want to create separate partial files for um, this header as well as the sidebar. And it's pretty easy to do. All we need to do is let's open up our, fi our My Ruby blog folder. And if we go to the app folder and views, uh, I actually want to create a folder here and I want to call it partials and in this I want to create two files one is going to be header and since it's a partial we're going to start it with an underscore and this is going to be header.html.erb and then we're going to create another called sidebar dot html dot erb and I want to go into the main layout which is application and we want to grab everything in the header area including the the actual head tags so we'll start at the doc type and we're going to go all the way down to the end of the header and I'm going to cut that out and place it in my partials folder into the header. Okay, so save that. Now if we go to this application and we save and then we reload, you'll see that everything's gone. Everything in the header, so that means all the style sheet is, sheets are gone. Um, but now what we're going to do is just include that header, that partial and we do that uh, using Ruby so we'll do um, render and then we need the path which is um, partials slash um, header I don't we don't need the the um, underscore we should just be able to do this um, we don't even have to write the extensions or anything, we just write header. Um, and then we can close that up. And if we save that and reload, we're back. Alright, so we can do the same thing with the sidebar. If we go down to right here at the sidebar div, and we get everything up until the end sidebar, cut that out and we'll place that in, in this file, this sidebar, save, close that up, and then we just need to include the partial. Uh, render um, sidebar. Okay, so that should do it. So save that and reload. Missing template, home index. Uh, what happened? Oh, I'm sorry. We need partials. It's in the partials directory. Okay, so now that's all set. So this is in a separate file, and this is in a separate file. And this is the main content. Now what I want to do is make this categories menu dynamic. I want I want the categories from the database to show up here. So let's go to let's actually go to the sidebar file and let's see. So here here's where it starts. If we see this H2 categories is this this categories heading right here. So we want this to be all dynamic. So we'll just get rid of the um, keep the unordered list and then we'll create a loop to spit out the the um, list tags so let's do and if you remember if we go to app controllers um, post controller and we have this category equals category all um, <coughs> 
I want this to be global because this here is is only given this it's only given it to the post control or the post resource I want it to be accessible from anywhere so how we do that is we actually go into the, the core application controller and we just add in a helper method so we just gotta say helper method and we're gonna have uh, all categories okay so now we just want to define a method called all categories so all categories and then we need to end it and we're just gonna do categories equals category all so this method is accessible everywhere because we have it in this root application controller so let's save that so since it's accessible everywhere that means we can use it in this sidebar in our, in our loop so here all we need to do is do uh, all categories and we want to do dot each do and we'll just use cat for our variable a placeholder close that and let's end and inside the loop we want to iterate lists list tags and in those list tags we want we want the category name so we can use this cat right here for the category name uh, if we just do cat dot name let's save that see what happens you can see it's all our categories now we want these to be links all right so we need to go back and do the link to and we want to make sure that these categories go to uh, the correct ID the correct category so what we need to do is uh, the link is going to stay the category name and then for our second parameter we have to do category path so that's the category path and we want to pass in the ID of the, of the category name right here so we just need to do ID so this is a hash so just ID and then uh, cat dot ID and this cat dot ID is coming from here we're using this um, variable right here so this should work let's save it and reload and if we click on news it goes to the news page tutorials design so let's just add some let's add that post that uh, ID for the CSS so that we have a white background um, so we just need to we want to go to the category show view so if we go to our app folder and then views categories and it's the show view so let's just add a div to this so we know that the post div gives us a white background so that's what we want let's save that and reload um, was it a class? All right, so there we go. It was a class, not an ID. So we have our nicely formatted category pages. And if we click on uh, a, a post title, it brings us to the post. Uh, let's also add that post class on. Uh, this would be the posts view, the posts and show. So let's just add that div to, to that as well. Save that. Whoops, reload. All right, so we can go back. 
Ah, uh, why is that? Oh, so this is the this is the main post. This is the index view. So let's add that again. That div. Okay. So now we can add, we can navigate easily. We can click on the category. And this is the categories view. Categories index. Let's add that div here as well. All right. Uh, this actually isn't right. I want the white block um, over each separate post. Like if we go to the home page, uh, I want it like this. So let's see the main. Yeah, the main blog page is the same. Uh, so let's go to. We just got to make the div go around each post as opposed to um, the entire thing. So if we go to our post index view, I think it is. Um, views, posts, index. All right. We what we want is we want it like the home index, the home view. Uh, if we go to views and then home, we want this. So it's pretty much, uh, yeah. So let's just grab this entire thing actually and see if that works. So what I'm doing is grabbing the home index view and I'm copying it into the post index view. All right. So if I save that. All right, so now our blog page is formatted like our home page. But if we click on the category, we have to do that as well. And this is the category show. Uh, category show view. And let me close some of these because uh, I know it's probably getting confusing for you guys with all these files. So we want the categories views category show and so let's just try to paste what we had in our post view well we can't do that hold on a second here well we might be able to all right yeah so now if we go to tutorials Oh, see how we have it now is that if there's no post, it's just blank. So let's um, all right. So this is the view we want. This is from the home page. I just want to um, implement this this um, if statement. So this is the start of the array. We just want to copy how this is with the if. So we'll just add an if. And then let's grab this, this empty and empty in the end. So let's just replace this end tag with that. Um, and now we should be able to get rid of this entire thing. And save it and reload. So now it says there's no post in this category. Let's make that white. Let's just add an inline style and then we'll say color white. All right, so that looks good. Yeah, so we're getting there. Um, so let's let's do this. Let's do the blog roll. Uh, I want to have this dynamic with post titles. So and that that's in the sidebar. So if we go to our app, views partials sidebar and we want to replace this here this is just static now to do this if you remember for to do the categories in the sidebar we had to add a, a global um, helper function helper method so if we go to our views um, in not views I'm sorry the app controller and then the, the application controller 
remember how we had our all categories I'm just gonna create in all posts all right so and then we can just copy this and this can be all posts and post post all right so let's save that and then go back to the sidebar and we can pretty much copy this this is for the categories and replace the list the static list tags and change this to all posts change this link to post.name I think it's post.title let's do title and then the post path with the ID and this is going to be post.id so if we save that and then go back and reload we have our updated titles they should be linkable clickable yep all right so we're, we're getting there so all we have left to do is the search functionality for the front end um, the author we want to have because this is just a dummy link we want the author of the post to show up here and we also want to add comments so after those three things um, we're pretty much we'll pretty much be finished we'll do some testing um, I'll introduce test driven development and that's really it then we can uh, deploy our app to Heroku and we'll have a full-fledged blog platform built on Ruby on Rails so I will see you in the next video